And I don't know if you've ever heard all about Jesus before, but I wanna tell you the gospel as clearly as I can tell it to you in three minutes. Here's the gospel. There's a real God who made everything in the universe for his glory and your joy. And he made you to know him personally. Man, to have an intimate relationship with him and to flourish in your life, to have good friends, enjoy good food, and have a purpose on this earth. Yet, as we've talked about, something has gone terribly wrong. All of us have turned away from that God and said, no, I don't want you. I just want your stuff. I know you say to live life like this, but I'm going to live life my own way. And that's called sin. And the problem with sin isn't necessarily that it makes you a bad person primarily, but rather that we are separated from the all-satisfying God of the universe and we are left empty with a hole in our soul. And here's the thing about that hole in our soul is that it's not going to go untreated. All of us are trying to fill that void with one thing or another. Alcohol or drugs for me, cars, houses, relationships, whatever it is. But here's the thing we all have to acknowledge is that it doesn't work. It's not enough. There's always that angst in our soul. And because he is a holy God, his wrath is on all sin. And that ends poorly for us. Yet the best news in the universe, Bridgepoint, is that he's not just a just judge. He's also a loving father. And he loves you and I so much that he sent his son, Jesus, who was a real person, right? He's not Harry Potter or the Lord of the Rings or anything like that. He was a real person. He came to earth. He lived a perfect life in our place. He hung around with the screwed up people of the world, claiming he was God, claiming he had the words of eternal life, healing sicknesses, teaching about the kingdom of God. And then the uh, hyper-spiritual people of his day hated what he was talking about. They're like, you can't claim you're God. You can't claim you have the words of eternal life. And they had him arrested and beaten and whipped and flogged and eventually crucified on a criminal's cross. And as he hung on that cross, everything that you and I have ever messed up in, all of our sin was paid for on the cross. But then after that, he was put in a tomb. But you've heard the story, right? Easter. On the third day, Jesus Christ did not stay dead, but he rose from the grave, conquering sin and death and shame and Satan and everything. (laughs) Hopped up from the grave. He hung out for 40 days, sent it into heaven. He left his Holy Spirit and he promises, I'm going to come back one day. And as I come back, that beautiful original design is going to be reinstated in its wholeness. But here's the beauty of the gospel, is that we don't have to wait until then in order to experience that reconciliation with God, closeness with others, and having that purpose again that we can go out and love others and advance his kingdom.